let's talk about what caused your diabetes, okay? If you have diabetes, this video is for you, and it's a very important video for you to understand uh, how you got there, okay? First thing I want to talk about is normal blood sugar. A person who is healthy should normally have about 80 milligrams per deciliter of sugar in their blood. And what does this mean? It means that you basically have about one teaspoon of sugar in your blood. That's not that much. An average American consumes 31 teaspoons of sugar. But why do they have normal blood sugars? I mean, it doesn't make sense. You would think that this blood sugar would go up immediately, right? Well, it doesn't because of this one thing. And the hormone is called insulin. Anything more than one teaspoon out of the blood and it hides it in other places in the body. It's basically a storage hormone. But what's ironic is that the blood sugars are tested, but insulin is rarely tested. If they were to test it, test the average American, they would find this screaming high. Why? Because an average person consumes 31 teaspoons per day of sugar. In order to deal with all that excess, this hormone is just working overtime 24 7. What does this hormone do with this sugar? Well, it has to put it somewhere. So what it does is it converts it first to the fat cell. Then it starts putting it into what's called the subcutaneous fat, which is the superficial layer of fat just beneath your skin. Okay, so there's quite a bit of surface area for your body to store fat in that way. So that goes on for a period of time. Then what happens, you start developing what's called ectopic fat. And ectopic fat is the fat outside the fat cell, okay? It's outside the subcutaneous fat. And your body was never designed for this to happen, okay? Because we're talking about fat being now stored in the liver, and then in the muscles, and then in the heart. It's very similar to a hoarder. At first, this person is storing stuff in different cabinetry, okay? But over time, things start building up in the kitchen, in the living room, in the bathroom, until there's no place to live or exist. Their spacing is becoming less and less and less until finally they cannot even open the refrigerator and you start developing rats and all sorts of problems and they get very, very sick. But guess what? If you're consuming this much sugar, the insulin hormone has now become a hoarder. And not only is it gonna to start to pack up the liver with fat and the muscle and the heart, but it eventually spills over into the pancreas. When this happens as another protective mechanism, you're developing insulin resistance as well. But here's the big point I want to make. You won't really develop diabetes until the pancreas starts filling up with fat. It's not that the cells of the pancreas that make insulin are burning out. The pancreas is being clogged up with fat, and that is what's creating the dysfunction causing the diabetes. Diabetes is a state where the blood sugars start to go too high. It's out of control blood sugars. Why? Because you lose the insulin function. Why? Because your pancreas is clogged up. But this is the entire cascade of things that happen if you continue to eat too much sugar and insulin is too high. Your doctor would have picked it up if they would have done a fasting insulin test or a test called HOMA I R which is a, another test to measure both fasting insulin and your glucose to measure insulin resistance. Well, that's very interesting, but now what do you do about it? The cool thing is this. If you have diabetes type 2, your pancreatic cells are not burnt out. They can be reversed. They can come back. How? If you remove the fat from the pancreas. How do you do that? You go on a healthy keto plan, you start doing intermittent fasting, and as that fat starts to come off these organs, the cells start to reverse, and you no longer have diabetes. If you're new to my channel, and you would like to know what to eat to start taking the fat off the pancreas, as well as the fat of the liver, I put that video right here. Check it out.